All right, this is the second method, second strategy, and how to turn off Facebook Messenger notifications in case the first strategy doesn't work for you. So what you do is you're looking, you need to go into the Facebook uh, Messenger Messenger app. So I click on apps here, down on the far right, that's where it is for me. You probably know where it is for you if it's not in the spot. And then you can either find it, it's right it's right here on the bottom of the screen. But if you can't find it easily, you can search it. And uh, you would search Messenger, most likely. I have a different version of the app. It's like, it's a reduced version and it takes up less space. It's a simpler version and it's called Messenger Lite. So there it is right there. And then what you would do is you'd click on the far right here, so you're starting here, and you'd click on the far right. Depending on which app, um, it might have your profile picture here instead, or it might have the settings button. Either way, you click on it, and it'll take you to your, to your profile. And so then what you do is you click, you scroll down to preferences, under preferences, it'll say notifications and sounds. So you click on that. And then uh, here at the top, it'll say on. And what you can do is you can click that off, but it only allows you to turn it off for a set amount of time, which isn't ideal, obviously, because you have to keep on coming back to do it. So what you can do instead, if you want to turn everything off, if you want to turn all notifications off, as you'll see below that, there's options for individual notifications. Notification preview, light, sound, and vibrate. So you can turn them off individually if you want, or you can just turn them all off, and that should uh, leave them all off until you come back and change the setting, which you do through the same process that I just took you through. So that's it. Um, that's the second strategy with how to turn off pestering and incessant uh, Facebook messenger notifications. I'm going to do one more video that will uh, be like the extreme version. It will be how to uninstall the app altogether and how to reinstall it in case you want to do that. So hope that helps. Let me know if it did.